Hi, my name's Brad Ladwig and Joe DaCosta and I had planned to hike 100 kilometers to trek for TED, to raise funds for the TED White Opportunity Fund at the University of Queensland. Unfortunately, I contracted COVID and couldn't participate, but Jackie, Joe's wife, did step up and joined Joe to complete this 100 kilometer hike through Spain on the Camino. We wanted to say a special thank you to everyone who wished us well. Uh, we received a lot of messages of support, especially from fellow UQ Chemeng alumni. These were really gratefully received. And of course, uh, our greatest thanks goes to all of those, all of you, who donated to the Ted White Opportunity Fund at the University of Queensland. Your donations will directly benefit students in the department, in the School of Chemical Engineering, and we are very, very grateful for your support. You will see now uh, some of the photos and video that Joe and Jackie shared from their, uh, from their hike. I'm sure you'll agree they are spectacular and a really special invitation. In 2023, Joe and I will organize another hike here in Europe and we invite all UQ Chemeng alumni to join us. We would love to have some more people with us uh, to make another hike through some beautiful part of Europe. And of course, we will do that to help raise funds uh, for worthy courses in the School of Chemical Engineering at the University of Queensland. Day one. No. Good morning, everyone. Both Brad and I would like to thank you very much for supporting the Ted White Scholarship Funding. So we are starting the Camino de Santiago today from the beautiful uh, Portuguese town of uh, Valencia do Minho. It is a fortress town. And uh, we're going to be walking 100 kilometers plus all the way to Santiago. So this is part of the town, uh, the fort, and uh, we're going to be crossing the bridge in a moment uh, that divides uh, Portugal from Spain. And we're going to be walking to the top of the hill in there in a place called Tui. So again, thanks very much for your support. Greatly appreciated. We have now walked 10 kilometers on the Camino. We are in the rural areas and uh, it's just beautiful, beautiful day, sunny. And the spring is full on. We can hear the birds, the trees, uh, you can see the trees, the flowers, just beautiful. Day two, good morning everyone. We are on our way to Pontevedra, another 20 kilometers. And uh, at the moment, we are at the Bay of Vigo. Beautiful with the bridge in the back. And uh, this place is famous for seafood. Again, many thanks to you all for supporting the Dead White Scholarship Funding.
We are now in the famous Ponte Sampaio Bridge. It is a famous bridge because here the local militias uh, fought the French troops when uh, Bonaparte invades uh, Spain. It is a lovely sight, uh, quite idyllic. Another lovely day on the Camino, the weather is just great and the views of the woodland just wonderful. This part of the Camino is just glorious. If you come here by the end of the summer, you may be able to pick fresh grapes from the no, vineyards here. Day four, today we have a long way to go, 25 kilometers, and uh, the forecast doesn't look good, it will be raining, and we are now in the beautiful town of Caldas de Rey, it's a spa town, and uh, it is about uh, 35 degrees here, no? Aqui estamos, aqui! Aqui, aqui! Good morning everyone, we are now in front of the Church of Santiago and uh, this is our final stop. This is the place where pilgrims for centuries come here and uh, many people are now arriving here and uh, this is a big uh, square and uh, you can see 
more pilgrims arriving here now. And uh, now it's, it's, it is the low season. And uh, if you come here during the high season, uh, this place here is full of people. So uh, uh, from me and my wife, we say goodbye to you, bye. And again, from Brad and myself, many thanks to you all for supporting the Ted White Scholarship Funding. Bye.